Hi everyone, my name is Damien, and this video is about how I have completed the tunnel boring machine instructions. And I'll tell you more about how to find them at the end. However, last time I was talking about my four step process in making them manual. First, digitizing the design, then creating the steps, then writing the manual, and then finally testing. I'd like to update that to a five step process based on what I went through to create the manual for the TBM. The first two are the same. First digitize, then create the steps. Then for step three, I say, create a quick manual as fast as you can, and then test that manual. And then finally write a final published version of the manual as the fifth step. The reason for doing this is because Studio's instruction maker is a bit frustrating. And I have a few gripes with it after writing the TBM instructions. One of those is how it handles annotations. Annotations are things like arrows, the flip icons, size guides. The annotations are attached to pages, not steps. So if your steps move pages, the annotations stay where they were and you have to move them manually all over again. So when I was doing the TBM instructions, I effectively wrote two manuals at the end of the day. That's enough about Studio. Let's talk about the TBM. In addition to this video, I've made two other videos. One of them is a deconstruction video featuring myself and a bit of commentary about how the first version of the instructions went. The second video features my wife, Carolyn, and her various drinks, which she used to get through the construction of the TBM. I'll put a link to both videos in the description below. Now for the instructions. One of the most important parts about creating an instruction manual, especially for a big set like this, are the steps. And I could have spent days and weeks fine tuning the steps and making them better and better each time. However, I eventually drew a line under it and brought the instructions to a very high level. I think they're great. However, they're not quite Lego standard. So there are times where there are a few parts that are loose and don't get secured until a few steps later. And as a consequence, the TBM build can be a bit challenging. You have been warned. That being said, if you do run into any trouble, please send me a message and I'll try to help as best I can. I've made the instructions available on Rebickable for a small fee and the link is in the description below. However, I do not want money to be a barrier for anyone for any reason. Therefore, please email me at hello at the third if this applies to you. Finally, I want to thank everyone who requested instructions for the TBM. When I first posted the video about the tunnel boring machine, I thought making the instructions was going to be a huge task. And I was correct. It was a huge task. However, not only do I get to share it with all of you, but now I can rebuild the bucket wheel excavator whenever I want. Thanks for watching.